Hi, let's learn a simple and practical PowerPoint animation trick today. We use this trick to talk about members in our team. The best part is we use custom animation to reveal different facets of the person. Now take a look at this. On a click, I introduce the name and say meet Josephine. Then on a click, we reveal the first layer of the personality, which is she works as placement coordinator. On the next click, we reveal a more colorful side of her personality, which is she is a painter, mom and trekker. Isn't this a beautiful way to introduce your team members? The best part is once you learn how to create this animation, you can use the same thing as a template and replace pictures. For example, if you want to introduce another team member, I can use the same template and say meet David and then introduce the first layer of his personality which is he works as a technical support and the side that most of us don't know about is he is a footballer and drummer. In this video, I'll show you how to create this beautiful effect step by step from scratch. Interested? Then keep watching. Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We make creative PowerPoint tutorials to help professionals make impactful presentations. If this is your first time to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. I'm using Microsoft 365. This technique would work no matter which version of PowerPoint you use. First, let me insert the picture onto the slide. So let me go to insert, go to pictures and since Microsoft 365 offers you stock images, I'm going to use one of them. So let us go to stock images and search for the image that we want. The image that I used for this tutorial is this one. So I'm going to select this and say insert. Now we have this large image. I'm going to hold the shift button down and reduce the size like so by clicking and dragging from the corner. And this is a good enough size. Now I'm going to make two more copies of this picture. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D, which gives me one duplicate and then Ctrl D again and I have another duplicate. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to give this one a different look and feel. So let us select this picture, then go to picture format, go to color and under recolor you have this option called as black and white 25% which gives you a nice effect as if the picture is drawn. If you want it a little darker, you can use this one called black and white 50%. The choice is completely yours. So now we have this base image. The next variation is the black and white image. So I'm going to select the second one and then go to color. And this time I'm going to choose the first one called as saturation 0%. And I'm going to place this on top of the previous one. The last one is this colorful one. We are going to leave it alone and place this right on top of the previous one by right clicking and using bring to front option. So we have these various images in place. Let me select all of them, go to align and say align center, align, align middle. Now we have got them all lined up one on top of the other. Now the next step is to ensure that these pictures are in the right order. First, we need to have this colored picture right at the back. So I'm going to right click on this and say send to back. Then we have this black and white photo. This needs to be right in front of the colored photo from the back. So I'm going to right click and say send backward. And then we have this picture naturally coming forward. So we have three pictures arranged in layers. The top one is this, next one is black and white and the third one is color. Next, we will put a border to all these pictures. So I've selected all the pictures, go to shape outline and say black color. Then I'm going to write my text here. First, I need to write the name of this person. I'm going to call her Josephine. So let me write the name here and let's increase the size so that it's visible for everybody. And I'm going to place this over here. Next, I need to give her the job title. So once again, I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and I'm going to place this over here. And let us say she works as placement consultant. We can reduce the size slightly and then we can place it over here. Now I need to make this stand out. So I'm going to select this and give this shape fill and let us give this teal color. If you want, you can have the font color as white so there is sufficient amount of contrast. Then let us write the other details that most people are not aware of, which is that she is a painter, mom and trekker. So I'm going to select this again, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then write about the other facet of this person. 
Then let us give this shape fill orange color and let us place this somewhere close to the previous one. After we do the animation, we will place this orange one right on top of the teal one. Now we have got our text in place. The next thing we need is some kind of visual cue that allows us to make the transition from one type of picture to another. So let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From rectangles, let me pick up this rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a long bar like this and make sure that the height of this is more than the height of the picture here. Let us place this so that it touches the left edge of the picture and then go to shape fill and give this red color. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Then we need to have a hand that moves this wand from one side to another. So let us go to insert, go to icons and search for hand. We have quite a few options here. The one that I want is this. Let us say insert. And here we have, let us rotate this to the left. So let us go to rotate in graphics format and say rotate left 90 degrees and place this in such a way that it touches the bottom edge of the wand. Then let us group the hand icon and this bar and press Ctrl G to group them. Now we have got all the elements we require to create the effect we want. Now let us do the animations. Now let us go to the animations tab and keep the animation pane open so you can follow what I'm going to do. The first step is to have this group enter the scene. So let us select this group, go to float in and that is good. Next we need to have this group move from one end to another. So let us select this, go to add animation. Since we are adding another animation to the same object, we need to use this option here. Then let us go to motion paths lines and then say right and you can see that this is how the movement happens. Excellent. Now we need to ensure that this is placed right to the right edge of this picture. So let us click on the end point of this animation. Hold the shift button down as you move it so that the left edge of the bar corresponds with the right edge of the picture. And this happens after previous. So let us select this and say after previous and let us keep the duration as 0.75 seconds. Now, one of the key things we need to do is to ensure that we remove the smooth start and smooth end. So we right click on the animation event, go to effect options and here you see that we have smooth start option and smooth end by default. So let us take it to zero and then say OK. Now that is how it moves. The reason why I did this is we are going to add an exit wipe animation to this image. When we have smooth start and smooth end to this motion path animation, you will see that it doesn't work well with the wipe animation. Now let us select this picture, then go to the animation options, go to exit and say it is going to wipe and this needs to wipe from left. And this happens with previous and it needs to have the same duration as the previous one, which is 0.75 seconds. While this happens, we are also going to introduce the nature of her job. So let us select this and say wipe animation and this happens from left and this happens with previous and 0.75 seconds duration. So, so far what we have done is we have introduced this with a floating animation. After that, this moves from one end to another. While that happens, there is an exit animation which wipes from left and this job title gets revealed. Now there is one more thing that we should have done which I have not done yet. So let us do that. We are first going to introduce the person with her name. So I am going to have this float in from the bottom. So we need to have this float in and this needs to happen right at the start. And this name pops in from behind the picture. So I'm going to select this, right click and say send to back. So that is the first animation. And after that we have this group enter and do all the other things. So let us see what we have done by going to slideshow mode. On a click, I say meet Josephine, which happens to be the first animation. And then on a click, we have a float in motion path and exit wipe while this one also has a proper wipe animation. Now we need to go to the next step, which is to take the wand from the right edge to the left edge. While that happens, we will reveal the other facet of this person and we will also reveal the colored picture. Now to do that, we are going to have this hidden temporarily. So let us select this picture, then go to home, go to select and say selection pane. And you can see that this image is already selected here. By clicking on this eye icon, 
you can have the image hidden temporarily. Now we can animate without any trouble. Now let us go back to the animations. Remember we have this wand in the right edge. So we need to have this move from here to here. So let me select the same object once again. Go to animations and we need to have add animation and motion paths and say lines. And we will have this move to the left. And we need to adjust the starting and end positions of the wand. We can see that it starts from here and goes to the left. Instead of that, it needs to start from this point. So I'm going to hold the shift button down and move the starting point of this to correspond with the end point of the previous animation. The same way, we need to have the end point of this correspond with the starting point of the previous animation. We need to do the same things we did earlier, which is to reduce the duration to 0.75 seconds. Right click and go to effect options and make sure that smooth start and smooth end are reduced to zero. And while this happens, we need to have this one wipe away. So let us go to the exit animation and say wipe. And this time the wipe needs to happen from right. And it needs to happen with previous with the same duration, which is 0.75 seconds. While that happens, we will have the other detail that is shown, which happens to be a wipe animation from right this time. And this happens with previous and for 0.75 seconds. And we are going to place this right on top of the previous one. Now, one more thing we need to ensure is to have this wand move on top of everything. So I'm going to select this group and say right click and bring to front. So the hand doesn't cover any of the text that we have already written. Now we have completed all our animation. So we need to have the hidden image brought forward. So let me select the selection pane once again and say show all. So we have all the images shown. Now when I go to slideshow, you can see on a click, we introduce the name of the person and then float in motion path, exit wipe and entrance wipe. Then on a click, we have motion path, exit wipe and entrance wipe. Now the best part about this effect is you can use it as a template so you can replace these three images with other set of three images with the same effect. Now look at this we have three pictures of David. We have the same type of effects shown which is recolor effect, zero saturation and we have this without any effect. Now let me select this image right click and say cut and then select this image, right click, go to change picture and say from clipboard, I'm going to replace the picture. The first job is done. Go to selection pane and hide this so our job becomes easier. Let us select this, right click and cut so it goes into the clipboard. Select this, right click and go to change picture and say from clipboard. Now you've replaced the second image as well. Now let us go to selection pane and hide this as well. Let me select this right click and say cut, go here, right click, go to change picture from clipboard. Now we have replaced this one as well. Let us go to show all and we have got all our images in place. We just need to change the name of this person and the details. Let us call this person David and move this name somewhere to the center. Now when I go to slideshow, you can see on a click we have the name shown and then on a click we have the first layer revealed and then we have the second layer revealed. Isn't it so easy to work with this template? Now talking about introducing team members, there are many ways you can do. This is a template from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. Here we talk about one aspect of the person. Another template is this one where we introduce team members with just the name like so. If you want to give more details, you can use this option here. You can use this for testimonial or quote as well. And these kind of templates can be easily used by replacing this picture with the picture of your own staff. Another way to introduce team members is like this, where you introduce the person and the name like this, and has a very casual look and feel. Another example is this one where we introduce four team members. We have the name and the key attribute of the person shown like this, and this hand animation really makes it look attractive. If you don't want to use their photos, you can use a simple template like this that shows five levels of hierarchy and the names of the various designations. You can of course replace these with the names of the individuals. All these and more are available as ready-made templates in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. The bundle has more than 4,200 professionally animated PowerPoint templates that make your presentations beautiful and engaging. 
I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can check out this page, watch this video and see some samples like the ones that are shown here. And if you think that this is the right product for you, you can go ahead and make a one-time purchase and use these templates for a lifetime. If you are a professional who needs to make presentations as part of your profession, then investing in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is definitely worth it. If you want to sign up for our 25 creative ideas free PowerPoint mini training, you can click on the link here. To encourage us to make more of these kind of tutorials, you can hit the subscribe button. To watch our latest video in presentation process channel, you can click on the link here. Thank you.